Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, back at it again with the Black and White 2 live decks. Uh, last episode we got Substrika. This episode, we're gonna encounter Fungus or Amungus. I don't actually know which one you get at this point. Okay, it's a Fungus, so you just kill it for free experience. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm gonna use Fly. Air Cutter might have been like better to use here, you might have Oko'd, but Fly will probably Oko, and even if it doesn't Oko, it stalls a turn, which gives us extra hail damage, which might matter, because we're tiny bit underleveled. Of course, it hits the effects for Uh, <laughs> that's just kind of annoying. But luckily, I have like a million paralyzed heals from, from man Zane, who either hadn't... I'm, I'm glad I got paralyzed, so that it wasn't going to check for our free repel. Um, anyway, let's use that paralyzed heal, which is just at the top here, I guess. I should probably heal these guys a little, so I'm gonna throw them a super potion each. But yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to the uh, the Litwick Tower. I'm gonna try not to get too many encounters. I think the guy in front of us is gonna be a trainer battle though. Yep, alright. So we'll have to go deal with him, obviously. Oh, rotation battle again? These guys fucking love the rotation battle. The unfortunate part with this, I think it's still hailing, and that's just problematic, straight up. He's got two deerlings, so just going for a fly should almost always be the best play, unless he reads that and goes for bulk up Stoutlin. Oh, but he intimidates. I think even in post-intimidate, we hit him with the fly. Yeah, okay. You think the AI is just gonna rotate randomly every turn, or like, are they gonna work around it? I don't actually know. But yeah, also, it's also nice to have Strobin at the front of the party because he's uh, immune to hill. But I don't have to take any random unnecessary damage. The only problem is Stoutland is actually an issue. But you know, that's what it is. Your cutter should work for him, so whatever. It is interesting how the wild Pokemon are like the exact same level, pretty much. Or at least the one in like the uh, the tall grass is the same level as this guy's Pokemon in an actual trainer battle. Whatever. Hopefully this thing doesn't have like retaliate or something. Okay. Okay, with one more side beam. Hope it goes for one more workup, and then Fly should kill. Where do I just go for Fly anyway? That might just be a Fly. I think I go for Fly, assuming that it'll attack. Nope, I got smoked. Holy shit. This thing might one shot Strobin, to be honest. It's as semi bulky as it is. He's just bulking off, dude. Holy shit. This thing is gonna be so powerful. It's just buffed the fuck out of its attack. If Psybeam doesn't one shot here, which it might not, then we're actually kind of fucked. Okay, thank god. That was that was really scuffed. Nice though, because our, our Pharisee got another level out of that. And we got some small amount of money. Anyway. I think this is another rotation battle trainer, but honestly I'll, I'll battle him. I'm down. We got some time here, we can battle some trainers. It's just a triple battle, which is very unfortunate. But it's a good thing we got Strobin at the front of our party, because he can hit everyone with air cutter. Two ducklets, unfortunately we don't have Magnus in. I don't, because he's super overleveled. I could slaughter this. Especially if I had Discharge at this point. Why is Strobin not in the middle? Actually pretty annoying. But well, that means it wait, I intimidate all of them, right? Nice. It's massive. Anyway, I think we just air cutter. And uh I don't know, I need I need the ducklets to die, but I don't know if I have a way of really killing them fast. I could just go for seed bomb and hope. Zone Pheasant's gonna be like a non-issue, it just has some decent attacking power. But the uh the ducklets, both are water type, which is bad for Ana. Because it's a fire type. And they really want it they really want Ana dead. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of focus fire on Ana there. They're probably gonna go for the kill on Ana next turn if Hale doesn't do it for him. 
Yeah, luck luckily uh, the duck on the left dies to the uh, air cutter here. Can I shift him? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I mean our best bet here is, is probably just a flame burst on pheasant. Just keep seed bombing the guy in the room. It should be nice at least for uh, for a seed to get some free experience here. Ana could genuinely die, but I don't really have a way around that. Yeah. <laughs> triple battles are rough, man. If you hit it, if you've always been like a Nuzlocke or something, these all these triple battles would genuinely make it difficult. So I don't know how you work around it. Okay, they're both like one health. Can you shift for free, or do you have to? Okay, you have to send someone in. Um. Oh yeah, also, in the between stuff, I looked into it, and Zane, if we evolve Zane, he can learn Surf. Because <laughs> we need a Surf user in our party. That is that is genuinely our best play, easily enough. Hopefully they don't target Zane, because we can get some free experience right here without having to like swap train him or something. It's all up to who Ducklet hits, because it's faster than Ferrisid. A 50-50. Didn't get some mad experience from this though. I do not need Odor Sleuth. That would have kind of sucked. Alright. Nice. I don't know when he evolves, but the second stage can already land Surf, so that's all we need. Bite? Sure. I think we learn Crunch eventually as well, but Bite is fine. Mine already, okay. It's gonna be more experience than I thought I'd get. I honestly thought I'd get to level 8. So, level 10, 12, but level 11. <laughs> well beyond expectation. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude, how much experience did we get? Helping hand? No. Just don't need that. Good lord, and that's just from killing one, and we killed Ducklet in like a turn if it doesn't kill Zen. Bro! How much experience did he just- he just got 10 levels. 11 levels. What the fuck? I don't need to take them when I return. Bro, that is wild. Oh, and it went for Roost. Interesting. I definitely want to shift just so Zane doesn't die. Duckwood should take some decent damage, at least from Seed Bomb. Or just to kills this time. I don't know why that killed that time, but not before. Uh, yeah, Zink has so much more experience than the other guy. <laughs> he got one level this time, but before he got fucking... What, like 11? And he's evolving! There we go! Jesus Christ. We literally just fully evolved it by killing one Pokemon. By chance. Because Ana died. I wasn't gonna swap him in, but Ana happened to die at the exact moment when he could evolve for free. Well, there you go. Got ourselves uh, a Herdier. Zane is now a Herdier. I think he still has pickup, but now he can learn Surf. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.